In this tutorial I'll use the standard filters within GIMP to make an animated image. So I, I go to my free select tool and select around the frame of this mirror. Nice and easy. Now it's selected. I go to filters, animation and I use wave. Now wave works within that selection where ripples doesn't. It wants to take the whole image so it's a bit more difficult to use but wave's the easy way. I click on waves and it brings up the script down the bottom. I lift it up to the top, just clicking on it, lift it up. Now I need to change the amplitude to 6, about 6 and the wavelength I'm going to move it up right up to about 80. That's good enough. And I need the animation frames to be 20. And that makes it nice and smooth. 21, 20 and click OK. And GIMP goes through and makes the, uh, the 20 frames of animation. When it's finished this job, it opens up in another window, so don't get, conf don't get confused with the other window up the top where our main image was. You can see here the smaller window, so we've got to use all these menus up the top here. So now it's got it selected, I just uh, unselect it, go to select and select none, go to filters, come down back to animation and give it a run on playback. Click on playback, and it brings up the playback menu and you've got a little button up here and it plays it. You can see now the, the mirror is rippling. So it's like uh, the Disneyland Snow White with mirror and mirror on the wall. But just before it breaks into the, uh, the master who talks to her. So we just uh, close that off. Now that we need to use this one again. Go to File and we save it as a GIF file. So we just put in there animation will do and it needs to be a GIF file GIF that's the reason because JPEG won't handle it because it compresses things so it, it destroys all the uh, all the frames and the, the uh, portal networks graphics PNG won't handle it at all so uh, we save it as a GIF file we click save and of course another little dialog pops up and wants to know if you want to make it into animation and you click this radio button here then you ask to export it. Then another save menu comes up. Of course, it just wants to there. You, know, you can put in some comment there. It hides it within the uh, within the GIF folder file. So you just hit OK, loop forever. That's all the defaults. And we hit save, and it saves it. Now it'll save it to where it got it from, which is the desktop. You can see it down there, just under the desktop. And we close that one off. And I just click uh, Windows key and D and bring up the desktop and there's our animation. I click on the animation file and it'll bring up the animation GIF file. There it is there running in X and View. Quite easy to do. It's so easy I'll show you another way. I just close that off, open that up and uh, close that one off. Don't save that one. Now I go back to uh, File and I'll load and open a new one. This one will be on the desktop, which is the boat. And that's the one, and I open it up. Now in this one here, it's the same routine. You click on the free select tool and just select around the boat. Keep the, uh, the water line at the top. Nice and easy. Just go underneath those boats that one, just go underneath that one, there, and go around the hull of the other boat. And up to the start point. Now it's selected, we go back to filters, go to back to am animation, waves. Now the, uh, the script is already selected in that format, so we hit uh, run. And it goes through and it makes the frames for that one. Once again it opens in its own window and so we go to select and select none and that's our job done there. We go to filters, animation and come down to here to playback. We brings up the playback menu. 
Now I hope you don't get seasick with this one. We hit play, and there it is. The waves are moving within in that format. Quite easy to do. You can change the um, the way the waves move by changing the amplitude amplitude or the uh, the frequency of the waves. So uh, we'll just close that one off. That's the same thing with save. So you just go to file and save it as a uh, GIF file. It's the same as the last one. So thank you for watching and rate the video. On the instructions on this particular file and you'll find a link to a PDF file on showing you how you can do cover this within uh, without having to write everything down.